This is Ryan from Perform a Build, and today we're going to do a, a simple tech tip, but uh, it's a really common question that, as you know, searching on Google or asking Facebook, which is a huge mistake, you may not always find the answer. Well, I'm going to give it to you, and we're going to talk speed sensors. Now, let me start by saying we're going to talk mostly about the 60, but I'll give you tidbits on a couple others, and we'll get that out of the way, because this is where it gets confusing. The 80E has the same speed sensor and it's going to plug in both holes in the trans if you're a two-wheel drive or it's going to plug in the front hole and the transfer case if you're a four-wheel drive okay the other one's just going to get a plug simple done easy good to go the 60 this is where most people can't find the answer when you buy a controller uh, standalone system this is where it's especially going to be important um, they are going to ask you when you order a controller what side is the speed sensor on so they can get your harness right and what type of speed sensor is it is it this year or this year so 4l60e and the very late model 700 r4 that had an electronic speed sensor and corvettes and shit uh, is what this is going to apply to today now most of you guys are dealing with the late model we're going to start with the early and i'm going to give you part numbers Okay, you won't find a more helpful transmission company than us, and I work really hard for you, you guys. This type, okay, this tail you might recognize, it goes on your one piece 4L60E. So if you have any 4L60E that has an attached bell housing made from 1993 to 1997 in your vehicle, this is the tail housing you're going to be looking at. Now, if we point it like you were looking at it, okay? The speed sensor port, when they ask for your, you know, which side is it on, this is gonna be on the driver's side, okay? So, old school, 93 to 97 driver's side. This tail is only going to accept either your 700 R4 or 4L60E, this kind of speed sensor, okay? Same reluctor tooth as the late models, don't worry about tooth counts. Stop worrying about that. GM never changed that with the 60. This is your speed sensor. Okay, it's a big round with a, a kind of a fat plug. Okay, this, I'm gonna give you Summit Racing AC Delco part numbers, basically. So your 97 prior speed sensor that belongs in this four bolt 97 prior tail is gonna be 1931723, and that's on Summit Racing. Okay, and also probably everywhere else on the internet. Now, that aside, most of you guys with LS swaps and stuff are going to be looking at this six bolt two wheel drive tip. Okay? Now, this one has a much different looking speed sensor. Now, this is going to apply from everything on 1998 all the way through 2013 14. Some bastard models were made in 2014. GM used the leftovers. We all know what they do. This speed sensor. Some are racing AC Delco, and they work the same, same voltage signal and all that. This part number is going to be 2422-25896. And this speed sensor, when you order your standalone or harness, is going to be located on the passenger side. Okay? So early model driver's side, late model passenger side. This one has a smaller plug as well. So, so you're gonna have to change plugs, but I promise you the wires and the five volt signal is still the same. So it's a very easy conversion to do. Um, granted, this is two wheel drive, four wheel drive guys. It's all gonna depend on your transfer case. You aren't gonna worry about any of this stuff. Your speed sensor is in your transfer case. So I hope that clears up that little tidbit. Short, quick, easy, clean video. And I just want to give you guys a sneak preview. I'm wrapping up this year with a nice, simple, make your OEM transmission just a little bit better, the Ryan Snyder way, the performer built way. You guys have been asking me for another build video for years. I've used to do performance, uh, many videos back then. And I, I felt like, you know, why well, just, just build a, a little bit better of a unit for you to do it yourself, guys, since we're on the diagnostic train. That's coming out. Stay tuned. And boy, do I got some treats for you in spring because we are going to be coming out with all kinds of cool stuff. Just wait. This is Ryan from, from, from Perform Built. Thank you for this Tech Tip Tuesday.